Hello everybody and welcome back to Misclick's D&D Devotion. We were in the middle of an ogre fight when the vehicle of technology, the vehicle of esports came through and had a small crash. Uh, so, you guys can all roll initiative. The ogres are slowly recovering from their laughter, but it's taken them a moment to get there. Neil, if I understand correctly, they'll they'll spend this turn recovering. Correct. And then they would be, go their next turn. So if I were to cast a similar spell on them this turn, then their next turn, they would be affected by that spell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you gonna, do you have a second Tasha's? Oh no, cause it's second level and I only, I still only have one second level, right? I think you should have two second level by now. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I will double check for you in this handy dandy book. Because we're still level six, right? Yes. You should have maybe three just... first and two second level spells. Oh, nice. Awesome. All right, then uh, I don't have a second Tasha's, but I do have something. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good for the ogres. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling really good initiative today. Yes, you are. Six, 16. Does Kessrick or Olivia want to roll some dice? They can just hang out. They don't have to fight. <laughs> you can be fight. pacifists. Fight. How many are left? Three are still standing. One of them right. is on the last leg of her life, though. Is our horse going to die? Uh, your horse has freaked out and is running down the canyon away from the battle. Oh, no, it was plus six. Plus six, I found Plus six, it. okay. You're at ten. So why don't we start with Anna, and then whenever Kess gets it together, we'll see where she ends up. Oh, are we? I thought we weren't rolling initiative. We Sorry. are. We are. There you go. Neil, when I roll for like a spell to hit, mm -hmm. I just roll a flat 20, right? I think so. What spell is it? Kellen looks at Olivia and he goes, watch this, babe. And then he goes, boogity, 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 and casts scare. <laughs> so they just need to make a saving throw for something like that. Oh, okay. Um, except Try only elves, half elves, and priests are allowed a saving throw against this spell. Uh-huh. These aren't any of those, are they? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. They're so scared. They're quaking in their boots. The spell causes creatures with fewer than six hit dice or levels of experience to fall into fits of trembling and shaking. Frightened creatures have lots of penalties. If cornered, they fight, but with penalties and penalties and more penalties. Oh, dear God. All right, so you oogity-boogity-oogity, these ogres who are still really unable to recover from their laughter, uh, but now it's turned into more of like a twisted horror laughter, like they're trapped at a uh, psychotic clown freak show on the side of a twisted carnival. Uh, so it's that sort of like scared. <laughs> That's really While they're leaned over. Uh, that leaves it with Jen's turn. Fire, bow, and arrow. Please roll me a roll to hit. Which ogre are you targeting? The one adjacent to you? The one fighting Kess and Rhonda? Or the one way down there that's not bothering anyone except for Ransom? The one next to me. Even though I kind of wanted to take the one way down there because it's funny, but mm. it sounds a little bit stupid. Roll me to roll to hit. This is one of the male ogres, I believe. Do I just get the 20 plus two? I feel it's a bit underwhelming. Yeah, it should be. No, you're six level. It should be D20 plus four. Why do I have that? Hmm. Is it my melee hit adjust? And my missile hit adjust? No, it should be D20 plus three. You should get a plus one to hit at levels three, four, and six. Well, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. So it's plus three. Yeah. Is it a side attack? Do you have a plus a three by default? Attack. Do what have a plus three? 
as a fighter? Yeah, you should be rolling at a plus five before your bonuses to hit. Oh, wow. Um, plus um, five for level, then specialization should bring that up by one. If mastery, then that by three. Maybe we are a little out of date with our rolls to hit. Perhaps. It's been a while yeah. since we've done some big fighting. An attack from above. Uh, the Why ogre even sitting back? down is like the same height as you on the horse. He's a big guy. So no penalty for their hideous laughter fear. They have penalties to their armor class. 20. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually does clear by 10 since of, because of all the penalties to his armor class and stuff. So uh, roll me double damage. You're welcome, babe. Four points of damage. Four. Well. And then I get a second shot later on. In the yeah. Kiss. Kiss. So I want to make sure I'm rolling correctly. So our roll to hit D20 plus. Um, same I thing I told Kellen. It should be D20 plus three right now. Right? Oh. Okay. Right? You guys should both be rolling a d20 plus three. Uh, that's a hit. That's for, definitely it's a hit. one for every... For every other level, so... Yeah, uh, okay, so it should be a three. Okay, perfect. All right, yeah, that's a hit. Uh, four damage. I'm gonna have to take a look at this later. We'll sort it out later. Uh, okay. That brings that one down. This is the one that Ransom had come up from behind after you had already skewered her a few times and she got her she goes down okay and then my other hit or do i wait uh wait for just a moment i okay. think it is ransom's turn okay. okay um so i guess there's only two who are recovering from laughing now yeah yes there's the male over by olivia and Kellen, and the female who was throwing rocks at you. Okay, well, I'll take some inspiration from Rhonda, and I will just charge at it with the glaive. All right, it sees you coming, and its terrified laughter just turns into a high-pitched squeal of terror. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, charge bonus, is that plus two? Yes, it is. Okay. Oof. Uh, well, it is also not doing anything, so that's a hit. Um, ah, fantastic. Yes. Glaive isn't one of those weapons that deals double damage on a charge, is it? I think it's one of those weapons that deals double damage if it's set to receive a charge. Hmm. Yeah. A double agent yeah a charging creature comes at you you can set to receive but Ooh. oh all right, all right. nice a good roll yeah you skewer it square in the chest and it just topples over just crumples into the ground your blade's still stuck in it back to olivia second bow shot <laughs> Twenty-one. Uh, that is a double crit this time. Please roll me triple damage dice. Easy peasy. That's my girl. That's my girl. All right. Pew pew. You get it like through the side of its face. You know, like kind of behind the jaw, through the other side of behind the jaw, kind of like through the throat Ugh. almost. Um, and the arrow just gets stuck in there, and yet the ogre continues its high-pilled, screeching laughter. Uh, I really messed these guys up. Kess, it's your turn. Right? You have a second attack somewhere? Yeah. So I'm gonna roll. Against mm -hmm. which ogre? The one uh, near your sibling, or the one that Ransom's fighting? Uh, whichever is closest to me. They're equidistant is to you. <laughs> Who do you... damage. They're both badly damaged. They both look like they're about dead. Ransom's fighting one. Your brother's fighting another. Which one do you go join? Uh, I... Oh, God. <laughs> Is Olivia next to, to my brother? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, then I go ahead and attack the one attacking Ransom. Okay. I forgot Rhonda's turn. All right, go attack the one next Five to Ransom. Uh, you bring it down. It had right. pitched over after he skewered it, but this is it. That, that's the last one. She falls. Uh, Rhonda whirls on her horse, charges back towards the one next to Olivia and Kellen, and rolls a natural one to hit. Uh, but she has a second attack at the end of the round, which is a hit and probably enough. I should probably have Ransom be rolling these things, but uh, it's seven damage, which brings it down. And with a heavy thump, the battle is over. Hooray! I high five Olivia. Hey. Good job, babe. Way Your spells were really well, done. really well done. Super impressive. Thanks, really. babe. You know, I just like to cause a party wherever I go, you know? Just, like, mm -hmm. get people moving and feeling, you know? Like, what I do. did you even cast a spell, or did you just, like, <laughs> make them laugh and be scared? Well, you know, like, where's the fine line between the two when you think about it, really, you know? So it's kind of a mix. I mean, I guess. But it was nothing compared to your wyvern watch that kept us all safe and sexy in here. Yeah. It's yeah. still up there, too. We're, like, in the smoky area right now. Oh, wow. It's very mm. intimate. Do you, do you even think they can see us from here? Probably not. Let's make out. Yeah. You guys can totally see them making out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little oh, misty. No. All right. oh, no. oh, I yell. It's fine. Uh, no, Cass, go, uh, go, come over back here. Back. Come over here. I look I look at uh, I, oh my god, a, a squirrel. A I look squirrel at Ransom. What? You know, I was very impressed by your magic too. Yeah. Aww. Thanks. Wait, did I do any magic? I don't think I did any. <laughs> Thanks. Wait a minute, I didn't catch any spells. <laughs> I was like. I thought for a second, and then I just like accept the compliment and smile. <laughs> okay. Neil, we have a quick question for you in chat. Uh, and thank you so much to Soto for cheering. Soto wants to know the source for the music that played during break. It was tabletopaudio.com. It's where we get all the music we play. Uh, it's run by a guy named Tim. He's great, love all the things that he does. The song that was playing during break was called Before the Storm, and it's definitely one of my favorites. I will leave. Thank you for, for cheering while you ask a question. That's a very nice way to do it. <laughs> and sorry to interrupt, but I thought that was important. Yes, it is. Love me some tabletop audio. Those guys are the best. Mm -hmm. Um. Excellent, so you guys can continue on your journey. Now, as I look at this map and look at the lines that you have drawn about where you wanna go, it looks to me like you guys are gonna try and go north of Unyaka and just kind of bypass the whole city. Is that the plan? Mm, yeah, they kind of said that the city sucked. <laughs> they kind of did, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to go to the city unless we like need provisions or anything like that, which it doesn't sound like we do. Great. So I want um, you. Oh, go ahead. I'll give you a note, Neil, that even though this is the drawn path, mm -hmm. I'm going to lead the party slightly that way instead. Sure. Actually, uh, I would suggest we stop at the town if you guys want to. Only if you guys want to test out the new moves of Ransom before hitting, like, a major city. I'm I afraid mean, I'm not practiced enough to do that yet. But what I would love to take a pit stop on is to receive some of your excellent horizons. Oh. Well, let's do that at the end of the day, shall we? Before we meet another ogre family, hopefully. By the end of the day. Well, all right, I give him two horizons, so he regains two HP. 
What about our horse? Your horse has taken off. It'll probably be a little while to catch it, but it's your horse. It's been with you forever. When a horse gets yeah, scared- Yeah, I go it, after my horse. Yeah, a scared horse usually returns home. Since you're too far away from home, your horse will probably just wander off and eventually calm down and just hang out and overeat on grass. Lazy animal. Okay. I go back. Can I go after our horse? Though? Yeah, it'll just delay you guys some time. Uh, That's fine. It's our horse. A little bit of time later, you regain the horse after having to, you know, slowly lure it towards you with some specially delicious looking grass. And everyone is eventually back on the road in the canyons, twisting and winding your way northward. It sounds like Ransom's going to be your guide, the point man in all of this. Uh, so, Ransom, I would like you to make me a perception check for your abilities to sort of lead the party in the right direction. Uh, you don't have like a wilderness survival skill or a, um, uh, what do you call it? A direction sense skill. So we're just going to supplement with a perception check. Right. And I'll ask a uh, party if any of them have such an ability. Rhonda? She shakes her head. Well, I, uh, I know you're ability? a lawyer, but you any good in the wilderness and finding directions? Uh, you know, I always found if you just follow your heart, you always end up in the right spot, man. Here, here. Uh, I'll use exactly that advice. So I follow <laughs> my heart to uh, where we're going. You're the man, <laughs> Ransom. You're the man. Oh, uh, no. You follow your heart. <laughs> Where does your heart take you? <laughs> uh, and eventually the sun begins to set in the canyons. Oh, we're going to go to nighttime. Ooh, unless anyone would like to say otherwise, I'm just going to assume the same watches. First watch is Olivia and Kellen. Second watch is Rhonda. Third watch is Kestin Ransom. Fourth watch is Guy. Is that yep. cool? Cool. So. Oh. Oh, oh, I give some more horizons to Ransom. Okay. Great. I will take a lot of them. How many will you do? So you got a total of four hit points today. Four, okay. Are you still super badly hurt? Uh, I still have some wounds on me. Okay. Mm. You guys set off the next day. Heading in one point. During uh, no, you had a you had a battle that day, so no no HP gained. Okay. Uh, you set off the next day, journeying in hopefully in the northeastern direction. But you know you're kind of in these canyons, so sometimes you're going north and sometimes you're going a little bit west. And you turn around and then you're headed a little bit south, and it's a long twisting path, and you're just he taking the canyons that look like they're heading in the right direction each time. And that day slowly draws itself to an end. I could um, have sworn that we should have hit the river by now. I muse over. As we set up camp. Set up a camp, you know? This is a new area. This is new terrain type. You're a little rusty. You'll probably reach it tomorrow. Uh, well, I, follow your I don't suppose you have any more of them horizons, Olivia? Nope. After the whole day? Well, I mean, yes. I guess when we go to bed the next day. I go oh, to bandage your wounds, too. <laughs> it's very oh. nice. I don't know if it does anything, but I just do it anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. Continuing on. So nothing happens the next day? Nope. The next day is kind of Oh, well, eventless. then four more hit points for Ransom. Yeah. Uh, you four. guys continue yeah. to go. And after a third day of traveling through these canyons and crags, you have still found nothing. You find yourself moving through these narrow passages. Uh, Kellen, are these close enough to make you a little claustrophobic? How narrow are they? I look at the roll 20 overlay. I don't see anything. You don't see a background of a let's canyon? Try, let's try refreshing and see. Okay. Oh, 
I don't see anything on roll 20. I do see the stream picture. Ah, I see what you have. No, that's not narrow enough, no. No, okay, still still no claustrophobia from you. No. Fine, fine, be that way. In uh, fact, he's like happily humming, <laughs> and he's like, babe, check this out, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, Olivia, <laughs> so many things I want to <laughs> give ya. So cute, I almost don't believe ya. Olivia, my girlfriend, there's nothing for you that I wouldn't spend. You make my heart do back bends, my girlfriend. Olivia, yeah, I high five her. That was cool. That was like an interesting take on the song you did about Rhonda. Like it had a very similar musical part where you're like, Rhonda, can't wait to, you know, I kind of felt like that was a, a similar thing you're doing for Olivia there. Um, no, it was like totally different, but like, you know, that's cool. It was like another registry of like notes and tones. Totally, yeah, like I a mean, whole like, different guess... registry, but like, Compositionally, you know, it was like name me, uh, you know, kind of, and then the same thing with another line. No, am I just crazy? Look, I, I turn mean, away from that and I just look at ransom. <laughs> look, I mean, I could see how, like, to to some ear, it might sound similar, but like Olivia hears that there's something different in this one. So, like, if you were to write a song about me, for example, like, which song, like, what would you be your composition? Me. Mm-hmm. You know, why don't I work on it over the, the next day and I'll um I'll try and write something right for you, you know, I'm... Yeah, you know, improv is a learned skill, so not everyone can just like pull out a song like that, you know, it, I get it. Yeah, that's um one of those skills I'm still working on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's anyway, Olivia, to... did you like it? I made it for you. It was I so feel great. Cast looking at me, so I look back and um, uh, I feel the need to say something poetic given the bards behind me. So I mentioned, you know, Cass, these canyons, they remind me a lot of our relationship. Really? How so? Very rocky. Oh. And treacherous. And I look down. <laughs> Uh, well, okay. And I just kind of like drift my eyes elsewhere for a minute. You think I could be a bard, I say, as I turn my head forward and continue riding along, guiding the party towards where my heart says. Wait, what? A bard? Sure. You know, um, I don't know if that line made you feel particularly special. The line of you saying all relationship is rocky. Yes, you know, like these Grand Canyons. But rocky isn't exactly a great thing. Ah, yes. That makes me think you're unsure of us. As uncertain as the footholds on these cliff walls. <laughs> <laughs> Ransom, if you're trying to make me feel worse, you're doing a great job. Darn. I mean, what is the sudden you want to be a bard? Why? No, oh, I just wanted to get in the spirit of things. You know how Olivia is also trying to help with the performances. I would like to, too. Okay, what do you want to do? You want well, to for sing. now, just riding with you on my side feels nice. Well, that's much better than saying our relationship is rocky. Ah, uh, I'll try more of those then. Yes. I mean, do you feel like our relationship is really that rocky now? Do you think we're going to recover from this? I don't know, but... We'll see. Only, only the path ahead of us will know where the road lies. Do you still love me? And I look over at him. Yes. 
We'll see. I say, after a long pause. About as long as that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just, like... Uh, I just look at him for a sec, and then I'm like... I'm just dumbfounded. <laughs> And I look ahead and I'm like, I see. And then I just get this really like sad feeling wash over me. How about you, Cass? Do you still love me? Well, I guess that doesn't really matter now, does it? I guess, I say, as we trot on this uh, rocky path. Okay. After the third day of journeying. Was Guy writing a song? Guy's writing a song the whole time. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, you come to your third night. Now your third night, Guy comes back. He's got it, Olivia. He's been thinking about your challenge all day. He's like, all right. So, like, I did a little bit as well. So, um, you know, here goes. I'm not, like, as good of an improviser as uh, Kellen is, you know. But but uh, it starts, Olivia, you make me feel, whoa, like I want to take you to the show where we can ride that Bronco. That's where I want to go it's been a bit of an up and down especially when you slapped me in town so wipe that face wipe off your face that frown i'll never let you down wow wait is that all it takes to write a song these days <laughs> that was great what are you talking that was like a whole relationship and a whole story evolving over like the days wrapped into like a few lyrics in a song it was so meaningful and like that part where like our relationship turns around like it really got to me. i mean it's like it's been like this with you and me you know at first you're like fawning all over me and then I'm like, whoa, you're just like another girl. Don't worry about it. And then we like start to hang out and then like we start to become friends and then you start to get weird and then you hit me. But now we're cool. You know, it's been like it's been like an up and down. I mean, I don't remember the part where Olivia was all over you, but other than that, yeah. You know, that might have been like part of the magical effects of that cleric that was with us because like we were just covered in fangirls all the time. And so maybe like, you know, our minds were addled by the magic, you know, it doesn't really count. Right, I see. Uh, yeah. That was a great improv guy, and I well, just uh, go to lay down and like literally just turn over and go to sleep. You know, it like took me all day, and I'm like really proud of it. God, I haven't really written a song about a girl in a long time. Do you mind if I like keep practicing with your name, Olivia? Just, I feel like I'm kind of on a sure. roll here. Sure. Sounds like a great theme to me. Cool. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll do that. Should be saving guys' songs. <laughs> okay. Helen's like, just like being polite, you know, as like a mentor and friend. But he's like, yeah, man, good, good song. Why are you, why is Kellen being polite it does he actually think it's terrible and he's being polite or does he feel like he first he like doesn't he legit doesn't think the song was as good as the song he wrote so he's like oh that's sweet he's he's trying to be like me and write a song like i'm sure i'm encouraging him as like a young artist who's trying because i'm a nice person but like it was obviously not as good as like um, and the fact that he was he was saying it like in competition to him where he was like, oh, that's just like one of your other songs. It's super derivative. And then he's like, I could do that too and writes a song. So Kellen's like kind of self-satisfied that this is, you know, 
obviously not as good. So he's not going to make it look to Olivia like he thinks it's super good. He's just going to mm -hmm. be polite. Okay. All right. So fourth day comes along and you guys set out eager to make it to the river. Very eager to make it to the river. Because, you know, that's, that's where you should be headed right about now, isn't it? Where you should be reaching. And uh, the day rolls on and on and on. And you're getting like three quarters of the way through the day. The sun is going down. And you guys, I mean, you've never, you've never traveled this distance before, but you were pretty sure the distance from the plains to Unyaka was like 15 miles and to the river was maybe 20 miles. You guys have been traveling for like four days now. And it's just been canyon walls after canyon walls after canyon walls the whole time. Are we lost? Nonsense. That's impossible since I'm following my heart. Mm, I don't think the heart's the best way to find the north. <laughs> Do you have a better idea? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll try climbing out of here and seeing what's going on around. So take a look at those canyon walls in this screenshot that we've got here. Those are pretty nasty climbs. Are you a trained climber in some capacity? Because otherwise your chance to climb is not that great. Any of you and guys know how to climb? Because <laughs> I sure do. I do, actually. And so do ah. I. Climbing walls, right? Yeah. 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 I'm super good at it, babe. I can't believe I've never like taken you climbing or anything. What is your climb walls check? According to this, it's 95. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Climb that. All I'm right, a Kellen. super good climber. I like used to competitively rock climb, you know, just for a little while. Wow, I didn't know that about yeah. you. That's like so impressive. I was like, you know, regional champ and stuff. So. All right. Give me a climbing check. And that's just a D100, right? Yep, you want a 95 or lower on that D100. Yay! Easy peasy. You quickly scale, uh, pick one of these cliffs that you can see to, we'll just say your party is here for now. Um, which cliff would you like to climb? Of the I ones you can see. I want to climb this one. Ooh. Because it looks the most epic. And I feel like I could write a song from the top. Okay. It takes you the better part of an hour to scramble up there, but you easily pass that with a 23. Uh, everyone else stays down below, watches Kellen free climb this. I do some tricks and stuff too to impress Olivia and like blow kisses down at her and stuff. I look up and I just smile at them, like a slight, like warm smile at my brother and then I just look down. Give me a give me another climbing check if you want to do some tricks while you climb. The only reason I'm doing tricks is because I assume that the 23 signifies that this is about one third of my climbing ability needed. I like that logic. OK, sure, <laughs> sure. Well played. Uh, from... I'm not going to let you make me fall. In the <laughs> <laughs> from up here, you have a great view of the canyon that the party's in. And you can see atop the other hills and canyon walls. But there's not much else to see. It's really hard to get a bearing from up here. Um, give me a perception check to see if you can make out any specific landmarks. Ooh. That is pretty good. Uh, you notice that before you, in the direction that the party's headed, the it looks like there are fewer canyons like maybe the canyons start to get smaller and you lose them from your uh, line of view or maybe they come to an abrupt end but you can only see you can see fewer spires before you than behind you and i think that's good from what i know of the map because i think we're supposed to be kind of getting out of it right yeah right you're not supposed to travel through these canyons forever at some point, you've got to come to an end of them. So can I, if I yell down from up there, can they hear me? Sure. So can everything else of, in the canyon, but. 
I just see blah, blah, blah. I describe it all to them. And I'm like, I think if we go that way, there's less canyons. Oh, that's good. That's the direction I was heading, leading us in. Yeah. That way. Okay. Catch me, I'm gonna jump. Just kidding. I'm not gonna <laughs> do that. All right, well, I kind of like take a mental picture uh, just in case, and then I climb down. Okay. But I find like a flower or something special up there and I bring it down for Olivia. Mm. Are there flowers up there? Yes. I pick the prettiest one. What does it look like? It's uh, white, but the, the center has like pink and yellow and it's like multi-petaled kind of exotic looking because we aren't from around here. It's like a desert flower. Mm -hmm. And I pluck one long stem when I put it between my teeth as I climb down. Ooh. And, then I, and then I kneel and present it to her when I get down at the bottom. How does that make you feel, Olivia? Love that flower. <laughs> All right. And I, say, I say something like, I would climb the highest mountain for you and bring you back the sweetest flower. I put it in my hair. So pretty. I wear the flower you give me. <laughs> Symbol of our love. I'm just looking at them and I'm like tearing up, but I don't like do anything else. <laughs> we didn't hear the exchange between you guys, right? No. Okay. You know, our love is like this flower. <laughs> How is it like this flower, babe? Like, beautiful. Oh. Difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Once you picked it, it's like, you like wear it on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, That's so poetic. And like, you know, like someday this flower, like, you know, everyone dies one day. And we will too, but it's it's like in the beauty of today. That's oh my gosh, babe, I have to write that down. That's love. so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> dies someday. And we will too. But wait, what? But what? But. But like this flower. Like this flower. We must appreciate it. <laughs> we must appreciate. It's not a pretty word. We must revel. Yeah, in and the beauty, beauty of it. Oh, <laughs> my cat is doing weird things with my hands. Sorry. Oh my gosh, babe! I I hear it right now. Such a good. Everyone song. dies someday, and we will too. You know, something like that. Like flowers. Yeah, like a power ballad, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. But oh, like yes. this flower. I'd like to try again. Sorry? You see that height that Kellen was at right there? Mm-hmm. Yes. Cass? Well, I just realized that rather recently, like that grand height feels like my heart fell just about that much at one point recently. Like, like you fell in love with Cass? Well, babe, I really like this flower. I'm not sure really what like you, you mean. <laughs> what do you mean your heart fell? Uh, so like, which way are we going again? I'm pressing myself. You told me yesterday you didn't love me anymore. I didn't say that. You said, we'll see. Who says, we'll see, to I love asking if somebody still loves you? Maybe it's a, it's just a, I don't know. So what do you mean your heart fell? Well, it was all 
I was looking forward to getting married. And then I heard the news. That was rough. The news of us not getting married. But I never said I didn't love you still. It wasn't to do with that. How did you with trust and other things that we were going through? No. Oh. Does that mean all throughout you still loved me? Of course I still loved you. I wouldn't be with you if I didn't love you. And I like sniffle because I'm like still sad. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I didn't know. Let's say as I hug her. You know, I still have a lot of feelings for you, too. <laughs> a lot of feelings or love. How do you just fall out of love with someone just because they're not ready to get married? Did you even really, truly love me? Of course. I wanted to do everything with you. I wanted to see all the sunsets, go all the places. So what Live changed with you until then? the ripe old age of 70. <laughs> <laughs> so what changed then? Why do you feel like you don't love me anymore? It just seems like it hasn't been the same the other way. I told you I still loved you, though. I told you that. I said we just needed to work on things. If any time something gets tough, is that shit going to be your answer to run away? I'm not the type to run away. Well, things aren't perfect and you almost did. What do you mean? I mean yesterday saying that. Well, see. It's not running away. It's just me saying that I'm not sure about where we stand. Then you're not fully committed to me. It seems like you weren't fully committed to me when you broke off our wedding. But I already told you, we just needed work and trust. I needed to trust you. You didn't tell me what my mom was up to. Like, I should be the first person you tell things to. That's what a partnership is. That's what a marriage is. It means you trust one another with everything, your life. We're supposed to be partners. How can we be partners if I can't trust you? Well, you know, I did it for us. I did it so we could get married under your mom's blessing. But a blessing based on a lie is not a blessing. A lie and, and not revealing of certain information. I, I don't think you want to hear it anyways. Well, it wasn't the greatest thing to hear, but it wasn't the greatest thing to hear it out of somebody else's mouth and not yours. And I know you've, I know you've always been very honest with me and straightforward, so. I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll tell you everything from here on out. Good, and I will too. You guys round a corner and come out on a beach through this canyon. It just opens out onto a beach side. There's a plot of sand, maybe 600 yards uh, long. Nice long beach, but after that it's cliff sides again. And you can see out into the ocean uh, the sun is setting somewhere to your left, so you're looking roughly northward. And you see way out into the ocean, um, just kind of at the edge of the horizon, slightly obscured by just general sea mist, are, is some, some sort of cliffs or some sort of mountains. Um, there's got to be some sort of land mass way far out to sea.
but you were. I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to be next to the ocean here. Yeah, we were supposed to stop by the ocean. That was the whole point. Remember, Kess wanted to go there. Oh, perfect. Well, then all we need to do is follow this ocean east. Okay. And here you guys are. Somewhere along this stretch of ocean. You didn't run into any rivers, so you can't be up here. But you're somewhere along this cliffside. And I think that's where we are going to leave it for today. I just have one more question for our bards. Is there anything? No, actually, we already asked all of our questions. That's it. That's where we end for today. Everyone dies someday. And we will too. Flowers. <laughs> yeah, like this flower. We must travel in its beauty. Flower power. Yeah. <laughs> and my character, during the next time we camp, I think that during the night, I would try to paint on the rocks. So that when Kellen wakes up, there's like a painting all around him. Oh, <laughs> we're so in love. It's disgusting. I love it. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. So why don't we do our shout outs and wrap it up? I'm going to start because I've got an adventure this week. Mm -hmm. I've already been on a bunch of adventures this week already. I am moving to Boulder, Colorado this weekend. It's going to be a 10 day road trip if all things go well, which right now they are not going well. Uh, our car is broken. It's in the shop. It might not even get fixed before our road trip starts. It's all going to hell in a handbasket, but I'm, fingers crossed it's going to work. Uh, so tomorrow is going to be my last day streaming for like two weeks, basically. Um, and then I'll come back from a new location with a couple of studio building streams while we set up shop. And then we'll be back in business. So that's up for me. That's the next couple of weeks for me. Uh, I'm going to tag Ransom. Oh, uh, this expansion needs someone to tell everybody how the how good the cards are. So that's what I'm going to be doing right after. How good are the cards? Uh, some good ones, some bad ones, the usual. We'll, uh, we'll see which ones are good and which ones are bad right after this. All right. And he's going to tag Olivia. If you're going to TI7, you should tweet at me and we can meet up and say hi. I will be happy to say hi, especially if you want to talk about the ND, because UV is really fun. How is it tweet. seven already? To tweet at me, you can at live in pink. It's five, right? No, it's like seven. I did not invite, like, invent two TIs. Why the well, seven one? seven would put it back in 2010. No, we're TI seven. Are we really? Did I lose two years? It would have started in oh, no TI. It's, TI it's seven. What will be the Am seventh iteration of Dota's two flagship annual championships, hosted by Valve Corporation? Yep. Sir. <laughs> I lost two years somewhere. Yeah. Somehow I went to the fourth one, and I felt that time didn't pass, but it did. Yep. It started in 2011 with a grand prize of 1.6 million dollars. I know the. Pr I know. I know. I just. I've had a. Yeah. I'm having a senior moment apparently. A senior moment. <laughs> anyway, sorry yeah. to interrupt. But yeah, if you're at TI seven seven, go see Jen. You should. It'll make me happy to say hi. Next. <laughs> Uh, I am streaming Zelda right now, Breath of the Wild. So you can find me tonight streaming that. And most days, that or Just Dance or other fitness or crazy IRL adventures. So nothing too crazy coming up at the moment, but just streaming. <laughs> Be part of the foie. Yeah. Uh, I am the last one, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, <clears throat> most immediately, as I mentioned, if you want to check out the host and interview workshop, go to twitch.tv slash twitch and the videos section and you can find all the tutorials and things we did about hosting and interviewing if you want to check those out. Um, also, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after, I will be hosting at the Pokemon World Championship in Anaheim. That will also be on twitch.tv slash Pokemon. So uh, if you want to watch that, check it out there. And if you want to just follow along with my ad adventures and see pictures of me flirting with Pikachu, then you can follow my Twitter <laughs> at Anna Prosser. Um, also, I am going to be at PAX West and I would love mm. to see any of you who are gonna be there. I'll be on the Twitch stage and I also have a panel, um, a Q&A panel with Dice Camera Action, which is the D&D show I do right before this one on the Wizards channel. And um, one last shout out that I wanted to give, which is really cool. Uh, our one of our original cast members for Miss Clicks D and D, Jess Brohard, just got engaged. Oh. So congratulations yeah. to Jess Brohard. Uh, so if you, guys, uh, if you guys want to wish her a happy future life, go ahead and message her and say happy congratulations from your friends at Miss Clicks. I will be doing that as soon as we're done here. And that's yeah. it for Miss Clicks D and D Devotion. We will not have a live show for the next two weeks because as I said, I'm out. And I think there's also Gamescom and some other complicated stuff coming up. So we're out for the next two weeks with the live streams, oh. but I think we'll do something else in between. Maybe so some rebroadcasts or something. Let's keep my yeah, makeups. Yeah. If someone goes to Gamescom, I'll also be there. So. That's another opportunity to tweet at me and say hi. Yep, see you there, John. Yes. All right. That's like, I don't know, grab a coffee or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We'll see you in a few weeks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All right, bye. bye.